Okay, so before we get into today's video, I don't know if you can hear that in the background. Uh, my neighbours have got uh, some tree surgeon here, so uh, there's a bit of uh, rumbling going on in the background. I don't know how well the mic's picking it up. I've just done a few testers, and it didn't really pick it up that much, so uh, you don't know. I, I don't know. I could be just talking just on my own, and you might not be able to hear it at all. But um, anyway, let's roll the intro, and we'll uh, get into it. Hello there, welcome back to the channel for episode 3 of Hall of Famer FM24, here with Yeovil Town, of course, Club 1, because the save has literally only just begun. Guys, I have to admit, the first few videos that I've recorded and uploaded and everything, they've not done as well as I thought they would initially, but, uh, you know, I'm still hopeful. You know, you never know, changing the title a few times, promoting a bit more on X or Twitter, whatever you want to refer to it as, it might get in some more viewers. I hope it does, because... Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit low for what I wanted it, but uh, that aside, here we are at Yeovil, and as you can see, we have started the season relatively well, 14 games played, 25 goal difference, plus goal difference I should say, and 35 points on the board, 5 points clear of 2nd place Taunton, and uh, 7 points clear of 3rd place Braintree, who we actually play today, and uh, also... The second part of today's video, we're playing Doncaster in the FA Cup first round. Uh, so we've got through all the pre uh, preliminary rounds, easy for me to say. So if we have a look at recent schedule, everything's gone really well. Uh, you would have seen me in the previous video face Haven't a Waterloo and Chelmsford. Now I know initially I said I was going to come back here, but then I saw, well, a few games time we're playing Braintree, who are doing well. Now they, I think, were above us at the time. They've slipped a little bit because they've lost a game or two. Um, I'm not actually sure. I know they've definitely lost one. It may, have, it might be two. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, looking at us, we've done really, really well. St still not really keeping clean sheets, but um, we're still doing well. And I have literally just added a new corner tactic as well, which I've just seen from my uh, my main man Omega Luke over there. Uh, he's um, he's uh, got some uh, little tips and tricks videos already going. So uh, if you haven't seen him, which I'd be very surprised if you haven't, um, definitely go and check him out because. I think he's got a closing in on 100,000 subscribers, so it'd uh, be awesome if you could add to that as well. So, yes, if we have a look at the squad, nothing much has changed. Uh, Will Jenkins Davis has recently come down with an injury, uh, so uh, that one I am going to have to sort out. I've uh, started transfer listing a couple of players as well, ones that we're not using, because if you look at this, our, our squad is quite... I mean, is it... It, have we got too many players? Probably a couple, but the thing is, the problem is, I don't have a lot of central midfielders because I've got this guy, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that sounds like that sounds like more than what it is. That 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 sounds like I'm overreacting at seven if you include others. So yeah, but it's just the strength and depth that I have there just isn't great. And plus, most of them are attacking midfielders as well, like Nasseri. I mean, I mean, he can play there as well, can't he? So, maybe it's not as bad as I thought it was. So, uh, yeah, let me get the team together and we'll play Braintree. And here we go. So, for this game against Braintree, we're going with Day in goal. Whittle, Staunton, Lazay and Bell at the back. Owens and Worthington in midfield. McIntyre, Drew, Nasseri and Scott on the wings or attacking midfielder positions. And, of course, Fadahunzi up front. Fadahunzi has scored a few goals recently. Let's hope he continues to do so. I have, um, I don't think you would have seen me change his instruction, but a part of his loan agreement was the fact that he plays a pressing forward. And uh, I completely forgot about that until... Their uh, Sutton manager pulled me aside and said, Oi, what are you doing? I wanted him playing as a pressing forward. And you know what? I'm actually quite glad I swapped the instruction because, number one, he's scoring a lot of goals. And number two, it makes it likely that we could sign him on loan again next season or sign him permanently. So, uh, because he's out of contract at Sutton at the end of the season. So, here we go. Let's put on a good performance here against Braintree. Um, I have only just opened the game up because I... I'm recording this Wednesday morning. So, um... Yes, a little bit behind on my usual schedule, uh, but uh, initially it is gonna it, initially it is gonna be like that. So uh, yeah, let's um, let's get started. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's um, make that gap even bigger. That would be great, please. That would be cracking. Now, for the life of me, I generally can't remember how to swap this to get six. I know you have to change something. 
I think it's in the in the preferences. You got to change to like like eighty percent view. Something I can't remember now. I will probably look at it after this after this game, and then maybe oh, good interception there by Bell. But Nasseri gives it away. But we've won it back. Oh, is now advancing forward. He's got a few players with him. Gives the ball to Nasseri to Scott. Scott now in the box. Can he get across in? He can, but it's awful. Scott goes to Worthington. Oh, and it's deflected. Worthington gives it to Whittle. Oh, what a goal from Alex Whittle, the left back. Legend, come on. Lovely, lovely goal. Lovely stuff. Come on. And with that goal, we are going, I think, nine points clear of Braintree. That would be cracking. Right, Lazar, Lazaya, Lazar, still not worked that out yet. Uh, now, unfortunately, uh, with Lazar, he's actually going to be um, going back to Swansea in January, as well as the right back Alex Bell. So, uh, I think it's Alex Bell. Oh, I don't know. Scott might be offside there. Ah, oh, it's offside. Yeah, I saw the uh, flag at the bottom. Yeah, I didn't get too excited about that. Yeah, I thought Scott was offside, so... Unfortunately, we've not doubled the lead. Ten points clear of Raintree, even. And Chelmsford are in second place. So, oh, they're playing Taunton. Ooh, a big game. So, the top four are all playing each other, quite literally. All right, we have a corner. Okay, so my new tactic did not... Okay, that, that didn't... Okay. Okay, so for some reason that didn't do it then. Even though I literally just did it. Right before I started recording. Now Whittle goes across to McIntyre Drew. Who does lose the ball unfortunately. And now Braintree chance to counter attack now. Oh, I thought there was going to be a bit of a mix up then. But Worthington gets the ball. Owers to Nasseri. Back to... I think that would have been Owers. Across to McIntyre Drew now. Another chance. Uh, and Hunzi. I can't tell if that's offside. Nope, it counts, because I couldn't see the um, linesman at the bottom. Fadahunzi scores. Get in. And we make it 2-0 just before half-time. Lovely, lovely stuff. Now, Scott with a corner. We could put this game to bed. Ah, oh, here we go, the short corner. McIntyre drew. Oh, and it's so close. Yeah, the short corner. Yeah, you know what? I actually kind of like that. Scott to Nasseri because Omega Luke said oh Scott puts it out oh, that's a terrible crossing uh, he said that the short corners is like the OP tactic of the corner thing like the the near post one was last year so oh Fada Hunzi's in again oh it's a good save and we've got a corner can we go short again please go short again yeah we're going short again by the looks of it or potentially going short I'm not sure Okay, well, we, we had another shot on target. That's that's encouraging. Very encouraging, in fact. 2-0 at half-time. Very, very happy with that. Um, very happy with the number of shots against a third place or... Third place? Fourth place? Fourth, now fourth place Braintree team. Now Davis now goes back to White. It's now Patterson who's got a clean shot and goal. And it's deflected in. That initially probably would have been going wide, but uh, the, the oval players did get in the way of that, unfortunately. And, yet again, no clean sheet. I've just got to be a bit conscious now, because, you know, it's only a, it's only a one-goal deficit for Braintree now. McIntyre Drew puts it in. Oh, and we go so close through Staunton. Scott, I mean, he played a very audacious ball there for Nasseri. Nasseri was never going to get to that, was he? Right, Worthington heads it. Oh, it was lovely touch there. Gives it to Scott. Said It's Scott across. And we've got a penalty. Who's going to be taking it? It is Nasseri who's going to be stepping up to take this penalty. Hopefully, it restores a two-goal cushion. And Navid Nasseri has scored. Get in. That's his sixth goal of the season. A player that I'm certainly hoping to keep around for next year. Um, a lot of the time when you're starting teams in the like in the bottom divisions, like the National League, North and South, the players only do have one one year contracts. So um, a lot of this squad is going to be
going to be out of contract to the end of the season. A bit like what I had at Everton in my um, beta save. So, um, yeah, we're going to have a massive rebuild. There's, the thing is, we've got a lot of wage budget for a club this level. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be really, really fun. Nasseri gives it to Fadanzi. He's hit the woodwork again. We must have hit the woodwork like two, maybe three times this game. Right, so we're going to bring Jordan Stevens on there. And I'm also going to do this. That's a good one. Oh, McIntyre drew better on the right. Hmm, interesting. Right, the Sayer now. Out to Scott. Nasseri. Patterson to Davis. He's got a chance here for a uh, brain tree. Oh my god, that was a very good save there by the keeper. I think it was a save. I know Whittle definitely deflected it. Braintree do have another corner, and Bell with the partial clearance, but I think that's other, I think that's the boy Alfie Payne, and uh, Braintree have another goal back. Hmm. I mean, I think we definitely deserve the win today, like one hundred percent, because those two shots have they've scored. The only two shots on target, so yeah, I'd be a little bit pissed at this point if we didn't win. But I think I probably would have. Oh, don't jinx it, Parker! Don't jinx it. Oh, actually, no. Beautiful. Oh, ooh, I had a bad feeling then. Right, Nasseri who's onside. Nasseri puts it across. Fada Hunzi scores. That is going to count. That's not offside. And two goal cushion restored. And the noise in the background has just gone now. So that's good. If, um, well, stop for now. But yeah, that's uh, that puts the game beyond doubt now. 4-2 in the end. I would have probably taken a narrow win in the end anyway. But um, we played quite well. You know, defending again. It's just football manager 2024. Uh, it's just... It's what it is with defending, isn't it? So, there we go. So, Chelmsford did hold on for their win. So, we actually extend the lead at the top to seven points. That is uh, very, very good. And I'm very happy about that. Um, Harrop, Anglo Harrop. No, we would never send the team out to uh, deliberately hurt people. Nasseri got man of the match. Well done, my friend. Cracko, Hewish Park. And, yeah, very happy. So, now, we go into the FA Cup against a... Uh, much, well, I say much higher division team. I believe Doncaster are League 2. Let's have a quick look through the divisions, actually, while we're here. Um, uh, Chesterfield lead the uh, National League. That does not surprise me one bit. Uh, Ten points deducted from South... Oh, God. Oh. See, I would, I would actually like to take over at South End because... Um, I think in in real life they've had a takeover, so it would be uh, quite fitting to uh, like probably try and get them back up to like League Two, League One, because that's that, that's another team that was in and around the Championship ye years ago. Oh, League Two, Doncaster are second. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Dons have not started very well. Newport, oh, oh, Swindon down there as well. Whew. Wrexham, Wrexham down in 15th, they've not started well at all. Yeah, well, we'll see, won't we? There's many jobs floating about. Actually, saying that, I did actually apply for the Coventry job. Because uh, Mark Robbins has already been sacked. Yeah. Meant, I mean, look at that, Millwall. But, I mean, there's like, how many jobs are available? Coventry, Bristol, that's five jobs already in the Championship. That's mad. That is mad. Absolutely crazy. Well, we'll see what happens with that, but uh, let's go and play Doncaster now. So, obviously, the uh, National League South did play some fixtures yesterday, so just looking at these, it looks like Taunton did win. They did. Uh, Chelmsford, it looks like they actually lost. So, where are they? Or did they don't? They didn't actually play. Same with Braintree. Did they play? They had a 2-2 draw against Hampton and Richmond. So, I, I think we're good. You know, we're still... Um, 
we've still got a game in hand over Taunton, so we can stretch it to eight points again with a win. So now our attention goes to Doncaster in the FA Cup, who are literally two divisions up, two divisions above us. So here's hoping we can cause uh, somewhat of an upset, and uh, yeah, things can uh, be uh, awesome. So uh, let's do this. Get in. Come on. And see, I'm still a little bit sniffly, but uh, I'm much better in myself. The cough isn't as bad now, but when I do cough, it is still really hurting my chest and my stomach because I pulled all the stomach muscles up through uh, coughing so much. So I am expecting a really tough game here, but who knows? It's something maybe we could win. He says that as Doncaster have a, an attack like straight away. Uh, Worthington now gives it to Nasseri. Potential here. Right, Nasseri. Nasseri with a shot. Oh, straight at Lawler, really. So, um, I didn't know if he was going to square it to uh, Fada Hunzi, but uh, sadly not. He took it on himself, but hey, shot, shot's a shot, isn't it? Right, Worthington now. Back to Staunton. Worthington. Oh, he's, he looked to look the run of Whittle, who loses the ball. Oh. I thought we were going to get that back, and we have. Whittle puts it in. It's Scott. Oh, he scored. <laughs> Rashawn Scott. Come on, baby. And we have taken the lead against League 2 at Doncaster. Lovely start. Get in. Now it's all gone quiet. Okay, he says that, and now Doncaster in our third, and they've equalised through Kyle Hurst. I mean, I don't want to say that was coming because that's literally their first effort in 25 minutes, or is it their second? No, it was literally their first effort. So uh, yeah, so we'll get rid of that. And uh, now Doncaster do have a corner, which Rowe will take. Oh my god, they've gone very close again, hitting the bar, so... I mean, they've just definitely come back into it. Like, oh, and they've got another corner as well now. Rowe puts it in, Staunton with the clearance, but only as far as Hurst. This gives it to Beginnis. Oh, that was close. Right, let's just have a little bit of encouragement to um, roll out the first half. And we have a corner of our own here. McIntyre drew. Staunton! Oh, we retake the lead! Come on! Get in. Come on, boys. Lovely stuff. And is that a deserved lead at half time? I would say so. We've had more shots, more on target. XG's been better, more corners, and uh, a little bit higher in possession as well, and pass completions a tad higher as well. So, yeah, very happy with that. I mean, a team that are two divisions above us, that's that's good. I will take that. Most definitely will take that. Incredible result if we can win this game. Absolutely incredible. Right, so we're just down the clock. Just a few minutes to go. Right, I'm going to take off with Sean Scott. I'm going to put him over there. Newball there. And, okay, yeah, Morgan Williams can come on for Alex Will. So, obviously, I can't do that now, I don't think. Do I have more? Oh, I do. Okay, cool. Um, oh, and go there, that'll do. Yes, come on! And literally, just before he goes off, he scores. It's 3 1. Get in. We're going to have to see this. Right, Nubal, obviously on as a substitute, gives it to Young. 
to Nasseri. Lovely ball to Owers. Lovely finish. I can't believe he actually got it past both him and the keeper. But 15 minutes to go. We are 3-1 up against League 2 Doncaster. And our goals to on target ratio has been very good today. Definitely the time to play a game like this. And I am really looking forward to see who we get in the second round. Jinxed it now, haven't I? Eight minutes have had it on time. <gasps> wow, we have played really well today. 20 shots on goal. 75% of those shots on target. That is good. That is very good. I am really happy with that result. Wicked. Get in. Now, I wonder... I don't know when they're going to do the draw for the second round. I don't think... I'm thinking... Oh, we won 10 consecutive matches. Wicked. Come on. Right, let's have a look at the calendar. Uh, oh, it's there. So, yes, of course I'm going to show you that. So, let's do it. Okay, so after the game against Doncaster, I went into finances and I just basically asked for more transfer budget and more wage budget because I'd like to get a few more players in. Now, I had, I didn't think that they were going to do this, but oh my god. So, when we looked in my finances before, it's literally six point... Um, they've even increased the wage budget by five grand a week as well. That is crazy. Wow. That is just absolutely mental. So that's there. And then we've got an extra five grand a week in wage budget. And 343. Easy for me to say. So I could literally have 10 grand a week more in wage budget. That is just absolutely mental. And it means I can probably sign a couple of these players now. Actually, you know what? I need to... I, Right, could transfer budget to scouting. I think I actually would do that, you know. I'm not going to do that. I think UK and Ireland is probably where we want to be. So, and I'd be able to sign players on loan again. That would mean, could I... Right, okay, so you're not letting me have him back. No, you're not letting me have him, are you? No, you're not going to let me have him. Bugger. But if I do lo lose those two, it does mean I can bring in replacements now. So, I remember Dixon Bonner from a few years ago, I think. See, that's a lot. Two and a half grand. How about this guy? Defensive midfielder can also play central midfield. This is exactly the type of player I want. Don't see midfielder, centre, advanced playmaker. I can't guarantee that. That's the only problem. So you're a right back. I mean, you would probably be a perfect replacement for uh, Day. So you just want to. I mean, that's fine. Uh, I mean, there's that's an issue really. But you know what? We'll just we'll just agree to it. It's fine. So uh, by the time you see me again, we could. Have a couple of new players in. That'd be awesome. Anyway, um, we have the draw now. Do we? Do we have the draw? No. It's not appeared yet. Okay. So, um, right. So, can we get to the draw now, please? Here it is. So, Drew's offer has been accepted. So, that is good. 47 teams. Right. Uh, now, I can't remember what teams come into it. So, League 1 and League 2. So, no championship teams yet. <laughs> Or are there any championship teams? So ones that got maybe promoted? Would they go in? I generally can't remember. Uh, so I can't see any. So you got Derby. No, I don't think there is any championship teams. So I'm hoping we can either get a really good draw against like Barnsley or Charlton. Charlton would be really good. Or... Another oh we were okay we're at home against Chorley, who are I think National League North. Okay, let's just speed through this now. And there you go. 
So the slough match has been rearranged. And now that's there. And we're at home. So I think we'll just come back and show you that tomorrow. And we've got back-to-back -back slough. That's weird, isn't it? Back-to-back -back slough and back-to-back -back Taunton. National League fixtures are weird, aren't they? So yeah, that sounds good. End of November, we'll play... Chorley and Dartford. Sounds good to me. Hopefully it sounds good to you as well. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to show your support by dropping a like. Please do hit that subscribe button as well. We are over 850 now and literally I I, I, I have confidence that we can do it this year. I have confidence we can get to the 1k this year. Why not? Let's try and do it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Ciao for now.